Alright guys, it is travel day. We are headed to Atlantis in the Bahamas. Um, the announcements don't stop, so please bear with us. Alright, yeah, heading to Bahamas. Uh, excited. Uh, no kids this trip. Uh, three nights away without them. We're already missing them. We feel terrible, but Atlantis... We're already, like, bored. Yeah. Don't know what to do with ourselves. Atlantis invited us out to uh, stay there. Uh, so, who are we to say no? So, gonna do a quick little trip without the kids. Uh, shout out to Ashley's mom for watching them. Thanks, mom. And, uh, yeah, we go have some fun. As we were getting off the plane, we did see it um, get loaded onto the uh, little trolley thing, so should be here in a second. I saw mine, I didn't see it. Oh, thanks, well. Sorry, Luckily, yours is all that matters. Lots of shops. Um, we both had the aisle seat, as you could probably see from before, so no montage videos of us taking off and landing. Um, wanted to be respectful to, to the people sitting next to us, so let's get our luggage and get out of here. All right, guys, we made it. Our luggage came out um, fairly quickly, went through uh, no problem, and then got a taxi within two minutes. Uh, it's about a 30-minute drive um, with traffic uh, to the Cove at Atlantis, and uh, we're excited. We absolutely love the Cove, and we can't wait to, uh, to check in. Might, room might not be ready, but fingers crossed, fingers crossed that it will be. Actually did a little uh, wardrobe change in the bathroom. And I uh, got my bathing suit rocked and ready to go as soon as we get there. We are going to stop at a liquor store um, or convenience store on our way to Atlantis. Um, I did pack a disposable cooler uh, and I plan on loading that cooler up every day uh, with some ice and some beers to bring it down to the pool and the beach uh, to cut down on costs. So, uh, pro tip. Oh, look at the water. Bring so a cooler and uh, look at that peekaboo. <laughs> yeah. Love that. So let's head on up. Uh, let's head on there. I don't know. You know what I mean. I also want to point out uh, what you do with your oversized beach hat when you have just a carry on and uh, it's not going to fit in your suitcase. You wear it around your neck at the airport and uh, put it in the overhead uh, compartment on the plane. off with bell services uh, said room will be ready in about an hour so we're gonna throw some bathing suits on and go to the pool no I want lunch oh yeah lunch let's <laughs> go get lunch We're at 
down at the cove. We're popping over to Cascades to grab some lunch. I love eating here. I don't know why. The menu, I just there's always like something to eat. I've been craving a burger. I just, I don't know if I'm gonna get a burger today. Let's see what they have. Okay, we're about to do a uh, food review. And uh, pouring. it's absolutely pouring. They did say it's been really stormy in the Bahamas the last week or two. But they also did say that it's, uh, it was like gone now and they were happy that it was gonna be like nice weather this weekend. Yeah, but I'm just expecting at least a daily rain shower. Yeah, every day so it rains. So humid, rains. yeah. yeah. Um, we do have our food covered up. We did start to eat it. Uh, didn't get to finish it. I am absolutely starving. Oh, we you hear that thunder? Thunder and lightning. Um, but I have a jerk chicken sandwich. I have a burger. Mine was really good. My burger is incredible. I can't wait to finish it. We love Cascades. It's kind of like a quick service. It's right by the pool. Yeah. We always come here on our first day. Yeah, definitely. I wanted to show the menu, but there was like a ton of people ordering and there's only like one menu and it's only available to look at like when you're there to order. My camera doesn't have zoom, so I couldn't like zoom yeah, into the menu. Yeah, but they have like salads. They have like yeah. a Greek salad, a Caesar salad, a chicken wrap. Yeah. Um, they have black bean spring rolls, which I'm like super excited. I think I got it one time and loved it, so I'm eager to get it again. They have nachos. Yeah, hot dogs for the kids, grilled cheese. Yeah. Uh, really decent bar menu. What's the drink you usually get? Like it? I usually get the yellow bird. Yellow that one's my favorite. Yellow bird. I was it's gonna like call a it yellow tail. Pineapple and orange. Yeah, we'll have to show it to you at some point. Look at the walkways now flooded. Well, I was saying that the pool water looked kind of low tide, so yeah. maybe well, this is gonna. It. Oh, Ooh, we did just you see missed that lightning? the lightning. Yeah, we saw it up there in the distance. But the thing is, the ocean is so calm. Like I was just sitting here. Oh yeah, the storm definitely moved that way because before the thunder was coming from the other direction. Um, it looks like the cloud is like going over us and it's gonna pass in a few minutes. Yeah, it is. I can already see sun on the other side. By the, by the time we walk up the ramp to the cove uh, entrance that way, like it's gonna stop we'll raining. We'll just be soaked and then it'll stop. Yeah, so we'll might as like, well just wait it out. We have an umbrella. Yeah, we're one of the lucky ones. So. But the ocean itself, just to go back to what I was gonna say, yeah, it's sorry to flat put... calm. Yeah, it is. Like if you're cruising this week, like the, the ocean is just like glass. This is an excellent time of the year to go cruising, like June, July, like right before, right before hurricane, hurricane season. season. Like, I did see on the news today though that they have three disturbances forming wow. off the coast of Africa, which they said is a super early hurricane season, so buy that travel insurance, guys. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, we are in our room. We got our luggage uh, brought up to the room by Bell Services, uh, unpacked, and it is still pouring. Uh, we did a quick room tour, uh, so we'll post that right after this one, of this video, if anyone that's interested. Uh, but yeah, it is absolutely pouring buckets. I wish I could zoom in, but what you see in the pool over there, those are uh, lounge chairs, and that's all chairs that were just blown in from the pool, uh, poolside, uh, blown in from the poolside into the pool. I think there's an umbrella, yeah, there's umbrellas in there too, kind of toppled over. Uh, crazy. The beach looks like it got hit by a hurricane. Uh, chairs are just scattered everywhere. There's not a single soul in sight. Um, the rain has actually let up a little bit, which is saying a lot considering how much it's raining now. And thunder and lightning. Uh, I don't want to get electrocuted uh, or hit by lightning, so I'm going to head back inside. Yep, I'm out. All right, so keep an eye to your TV when you guys check in because it has so many cool things that the resort is offering um, and you don't want to miss anything because I know that's happened to me in the past where I've seen something and it's been like the last day and I'm like, oh, the boys would have loved that. Like this, if you have a little girl, they have poolside mermaid, mermaid adventures, um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I I think that they have a mermaid that actually swims in the pool and they can kind of like meet and greet with the mermaid. 
Um, they also have the water park hours. You can check your folio. So if you want to keep track of any charges and things like that, um, you can check it on your TV too. They offer room service here, which is another amazing offering that I know a lot of hotels have kind of done away with since COVID, but Atlantis does still offer room service. And the last time we were here, we had room service every day for breakfast. It's just easier with the kids. Um, the French toast was amazing. Bacon and eggs was amazing and just so much easier and simpler. Um, they also have movies and they have a movie theater here too. If, if it's a rainy day, like it happens to be today, they have a full size movie theater and they play, um, new releases. They have the spa menu on here. You can book spa appointments. They also have the restaurants. They have all of the shops and everything too. Um, so again, just keep an eye to the TV because I know we don't watch a lot of TV at all, but especially when we're on vacation, we really don't watch a lot of TV, but they have lots of good informative things here on the television. Also swim with dolphins. If you can splurge for it, I highly recommend it. And if you can do the dip and discover pro tip, it's a little bit cheaper than the deep water swim. Um, but that one's really awesome too. And you can bring babies. All right, guys, we're heading out to dinner right now. We had a super rainy afternoon. So the rain did not let up after lunch. Um, it actually intensified. So what everyone was hoping to be just like a quick passing storm ended up being full on rainy afternoon. Uh, being a father of three, I actually enjoyed uh, taking a peaceful nap in the we room. really did. With the slider open, just listening to the thunder and lightning and rain. It was so nice. Like, we didn't even mind that it was pouring rain. We were so tired from an early flight this morning, and our room is amazing, and our view is amazing, so we just kind of sat and enjoyed it. And we have, like, this alcove balcony, um, so it's super private, and it did not get wet at all. Um, but the storm did some serious destruction to the property. Um, the staff has been amazing and they've already cleaned up a lot of it, but there were chairs in the pool, there was umbrellas in the pool. Um, the beach was just destroyed with chairs. You can kind of see it still in the distance, but I mean, their staff is amazing at putting this place back together really quickly. Um, looks like the pools are still closed. The Lazy River is still closed, Aquaventure. Um, and I'll just mention again too, it's so odd that that storm came through. And if you look out at the ocean, it's still so calm. Like, it's so calm, the water is so clear. So even that big storm didn't kick anything up. And I know a lot of people ask us about the sargasm and um, if there's seaweed places and that the seaweed blob is coming, but I mean, we're in the Bahamas right now. I don't see any seaweed on the beach at all. Um, and even after that big storm, I don't see anything and that washed. that's coral in there. That's yeah, not that's seaweed. Yeah, that's coral. That's not that's... seaweed. That's always there. But yeah, you can still kind of see the lightning off in the distance. It was a really good show. <laughs> and this looks so much better than it did just an hour ago. You couldn't even see the Royal Tower. Um, do you want to kind of give like a layout of our view? So this right here is the Colonnades Pool. I don't know if you can, yep, right can you here. see it. Yeah, so that's the Colonnades Pool. Um, and then that's the Royal Tower. I want to say that that is the west wing of the yeah, Royal Tower west, that we're facing. Last time we were on the side. east. And then that little white building off in the distance, the shorter one with the Nassau flag on it. Oh, the, this uh, one I right thought here. you were talking about the one in front of it. No. Right there. This little one right here. Yeah, right there. That's the Coral Tower. So they have the high Coral Tower and then they have the low Coral Tower. Yep. And then beyond that is the Ryu, which yep. I know we have some guests coming up that are booked um, to stay at the Ryu. So just know that they share this strip of beach on Paradise Island, yeah, right down that way. which really is paradise. And the Ryu is one of the only all-inclusive options on Nassau. Um, so they have the Ryu, they have breezes, they have sandals if you're looking for an all-inclusive option. Atlantis is not all-inclusive, so just know that coming um, ahead of time. You can buy food credits if you want to kind of like prepay some of your food, but no drink package, nothing like that available here. 
So if you're looking for an all-inclusive and you want to be on Paradise Island, look at the Ryu over there, the big white hotel. And then this way to the right over there with the colorful buildings, that's the harbor side. Um, so those are timeshares that you can trade into if you're an II or RCI member. Um, and they actually face the harbor over there. You can kind of see the entrance. Uh, they have their own pool over there. It's a lot more quiet and relaxed. It's like one and two bedroom villas. You have a full size kitchen there. Um, and they do have shuttles that will bring you back and forth to Aquaventure. So if you're a bigger family, ask us about the Harper side because we can find you accommodations over there as well. Father's Day. Uh, oh. This is the uh, this is the lobby for the other uh, the Royal, Tower. Royal Tower. This is the big iconic uh, tower with that whole Michael Jordan suite. Um, we showed it in previous vlogs. We got the aquarium down that way where you can walk down. Not sure if we'll actually do the aquarium. This you don't want to do the we dig? We don't have the kids. I don't know that I would do the dig. Yeah. Maybe just link the previous video. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, gonna go get my. I forgot my player's card uh, from the casino uh, at home, so I'm gonna go get a new one. I don't one. know why the lobby looks like so nice right now. I know. Like the I way can, the light is hitting it, it's so good. I can see the construction you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I told you it was under construction. There's some shopping. Uh, yeah. Let's go. Uh, to the casino. I don't know how much is going to be open, but I guess we'll find out. I just took a walk over here into the sundry shop. Um, located in the Coral Tower, just because I wanted to give you an idea of what they have available if you choose not to pack something or if you forgot something. So they have just about every amenity under the sun that you can think of. They are very well stocked here. Um, so we were kind of impressed. I know a lot of people sometimes don't want to check their luggage or travel with their sunscreen. Um, and they just prefer to buy it when they get to their destination. So they do have tons to choose from. And then over here in their candy corner, they do have tons of candy to choose from. 
But just to give you an idea of cost, um, that Hershey's bar over there is $5.25. So we usually pack some candy with us to bring on the trip and kind of just pull it out um, when we need to for the boys. And then in this section over here, they do have just kind of like some groceries. Um, they have ramen, they have chips, they have cereal, soda, water, juice, um, that kind of thing. Um, but just to head back over to the sunscreen area and give you an idea of what the cost is. So for the banana boat, um, the eight ounce can, it's $28.99, um, which at home we'd probably pay about $13 for. But they do have lots of different brands to choose from. Um, so if you have a preference, there are a few options for you. They have Banana Boat, Panama Jack. Um, they had Neutrogena. But the Panama Jack right there, it's charging about $31.99. So again, just to give you an idea of what they do offer here in the Sundry Shop, they have lots of different medications as well. They have Benadryl. Um, they have Aleve, Advil, um, they had Dayquil, NyQuil, all of that. And they also have diapers in multiple different sizes, which I was kind of impressed with because when we sailed on Royal Caribbean a few months ago, um, they had no diapers available on the ship. All right, quick stop at the casino and now we are headed to dinner which feels like I've been walking forever. This it's like on the complete opposite end of uh, the property. Almost like near the Ryu, if you really were to like. This property is just so massive. Um, I love it. So I mean, there's big, so many. It's so good for families. Yeah, there's definitely like a room for like everyone's budget, you know, and every family. So here we are, let's head on in. All right, we just sat down. Uh, we ordered uh, island hoppers, which are similar to Mai Tais. You said they used to bring no, them... No, not a Mai Tai. Not a Mai Tai, a scorpion, uh, scorpion bowl. bowl. Um, they used to bring them in big bowls uh, for people to share, but then they kept dropping them and they were getting crazy. Just like a scorpion bowl. Yeah, so... A strong scorpion bowl. Yeah, Brings so... Brings back memories. Yeah. <laughs> so wasabi. We got our own separate ones. Yeah, hashtag wasabi. And hashtag darkness. wasabi, if you remember those days. Uh, so, yeah. Um, ordered our food. We got the sweet and sour chicken, fried rice, and vegetable lo mein. Um, love the ambiance here. I don't want to focus on the uh, on Ashley in the back wall, but super nice. Uh, tons of families here. It smells so good. I love how the waiter asked if we had any allergies at the table. Which yeah, that really was great. For us, so. That caught me off guard. I yeah, wasn't with expecting Camden him having to start the Trina sets me allergies. We really appreciate it. That so. was awesome. Yep. All right, dinner just showed up. We got chicken fried rice, uh, vegetable lo mein, uh, bok choy looks incredible. The sweet and sour chicken, which I've been devouring. And it actually came with white rice, which I didn't know. Had I known, I probably wouldn't have ordered this. The extra rice? Family feast but size. But the fried rice is so good. I think that's my favorite so far. I haven't tried the noodles yet, though. The noodles are like They're right so off. hot. They're so fresh. Steaming. Yes. But so far, so good. So that little Atlantis bus over there with the doors closing and it's taking off right now, that's a complimentary shuttle that'll bring you to each of the towers. Um, so it goes from the reef to the coral, to the royal, to the cove, um, and ultimately like the harbor walk over here. So it is a long walk, especially like at the end of the day or if you have kids and you're tired. Um, or if you just don't feel comfortable walking back to wherever you need to go after the casino, like if you have cash on you, you can always jump in that little shuttle bus. And it is complimentary too. Um, and they come like every five to 10 minutes or so. So I think that's like a nice little extra that they have. Absolutely. So we're just outside of the coral right now. the back side of it and then this is also the entrance if you were to take like an excursion on a cruise ship or if you were to book an excursion on your own um, off a cruise ship and come for the day you'd pick up your tickets here at the Atlantis Adventure Ticket Center um, so 
just know that this is the spot where it will drop you off. And this line does get pretty lengthy, like if you're picking up your excursion tickets. So pack some patience. Um, and then there's a ton of taxis lined up over here. So you can grab a taxi. I'm, I'm going down the, the handicap path because I'm so used to it with the stroller all the time. This resort is not handicap or stroller friendly accessible. And I think we said that in our last video. When they do we were have here ramps too. and elevators, but it's just like. It's just not convenient. It's never convenient when you have a stroller. So where are we now? We're at the Marina Village. Pizza over here, which we've gotten before. The pizza that looks way. good. It does look good. Yeah. And uh, tons of shopping and restaurants here. This is where Carmine's is if you walk all the way down towards the end. And tons of yachts, mega yachts. This is like my dream for my 40th. I want to charter a yacht. Many, but I want to sail the British Virgin Islands, not the Bahamas. How many years do I have to save? Three. Three, okay. Start now. Carmine's is down this way. Uh, all the way down at the very end. Um, do you want to make a later dinner reservation for tomorrow? What time do we have? 5.45. Oh yeah, that is early. Should I see if they it's, have uh, anything? family style, which means the portions are absolutely massive. Um, actually, we're going to go see if we can change the reservation. Inside of this place is so nice. I love it here. Here comes the rain again. It's a light yeah, it's fine. It's actually kind of uh, cooling. It's actually not even really that it's hot. Not even hot or sticky. It's like really nice out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, where are we heading now? Ice cream? Ice cream. Ashley wants some Ben and Jerry's, so we're getting some ice cream. Oh, this is fun. Okay, just had our uh, Ben and Jerry's adventure. Place was packed. Ashley, what'd you get? Fish food. Fish food? Yeah. Is that what the kids are calling it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't think this is on. It's on. Also, the other thing that I want to mention is to be careful when you're tipping because they add an automatic uh, gratuity. Yeah, dinner tonight had a 15% gratuity added. I did go ahead and add another 5% uh, to the uh, tab. Which came out to an extra six bucks, which you know isn't that bad. But yeah, but if you tip twenty percent on top of the fifteen yeah, percent, they would be getting like a double tip. Thirty-five percent. Um, so just be careful about that, because they add gratuity to everything, like even ice cream. Yep. So just know that. Yep. All right, guys. I do want to point out that the casino is partially under construction. They have like fifty percent of the casino. Uh, completely sectioned off and shut down. Um, this doesn't seem like a lot, but this goes right straight down the center. Um, if you go down to the back left corner, uh, these, these, there's these partition walls like this all the way around. Uh, only two roulette tables open. They have a ton of tables here, uh, but it looks like it's all blackjack, so um, yeah. So yeah, there's the other walls right there. So you can see that the partition walls are up and that whole section is completely usually shut down. Tables, yeah. yeah, it's usually tables, so sucks. But luckily there's some spaces open so we'll be able to jump in there and uh, hopefully win some money. Unless you want to show that kids, Bob. All right, guys, we are walking through. The kids club is here on the left. We got the arcade on the right. Arcade is open 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Tons of stuff to do. And then Show the kids, the kids club, club schedule. You do have to pay for the kids yes, club. Yes, you do. But um, our kids are. Uh, our kids did which one? Well, they don't have it right now, but they did the shark encounter. Um, so today's Saturday, kids casino. Right evening. It's a 2 to 4.30 and then 6.30 to 10. And that comes with pizza and Coke tails. Yeah, so we had them do the dinner time one one time when we were here on a trip. Um, 
and so they did the shark encounter and they got to look at all the different shark exhibits and they pretty much like toured the grounds with I don't know I forget what they're called marine biologists marine biologists that like specialize in um, sharks and sharks so they learned a ton about sharks when they did that let's go down this way okay it's gonna get super dark so I am gonna go ahead and turn the light on which is gonna be super annoying but yeah but they loved it and they like still spit out shark facts yeah. at us that they like learned for sure so long ago um, so that was good for them and then they had pizza and the pizza there was safe for cam um, uh, do you remember how much we paid? It was kind of expensive. I want to say it was like $90 a kid. Uh, yeah. So Per not, night. Per night. So not something we would do like every, every night. Every night, yeah. But, but like we took them, we were here for like what, five, six nights? Five, five nights, nights, I think. Last time. And they went twice and they literally wanted to go every day. Yeah. They were like, oh my God, this is... It's the closest thing comparable to, I think, a, like Disney, a Disney Kids Club. Kids club. Yeah, they had a great time. They kept asking to go back. We were like, sorry guys, can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, $180 a whack. You know, that's yeah. $1,000 after a week. I mean, after five days, you know? So, definitely worth it. I, I, the kids loved it. Yeah, You know, I would it. definitely recommend it. Um, but we also wanted to like spend time with them on that trip. Like we came on the trip to spend time together as a family. Yeah. So, that wasn't really like our focus was there's so much to do together yeah for sure um, but yeah but yeah i'm uh it's almost nine o'clock ash is exhausted uh she wants to call it a night i am uh, being the gentleman that i am and walking her back to the room and gonna go back to the casino afterwards also i doubled my money uh yeah she did she uh put Wheel in of fortune spin and she win. was playing the slots she put in 60 won 120 um, myself, I'm up 75 from playing roulette after a couple of hours, which I think is pretty uh, promising. I was up a little higher, but someone kept telling me to keep playing and keep playing. Sorry. Uh, you were doing so good. Thank you. <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, definitely going to head back to the casino and try my luck. Um, casino, like I mentioned before, is under construction, so only two roulette tables, and it's American style which means there's a zero and a double zero, as opposed to just a green zero. So it's like one more number you need to cover and your odds decrease by having that other number. So, um, so it, it worked to my benefit the last couple of spins because I played the basket and uh, I was able to actually hit a couple of numbers a few times. It hit zero and double zero like four times in a row. Yeah, and I kept winning and people were and like, really mad. And everyone was so upset. They were just walking away. Yeah. Like, this is bad luck. Yeah. So. But, so they said that yesterday there was a fight at one of the roulette tables, like a full-on brawl fight. And so today they completely removed that table. So there were, there was three roulette tables. Now there's only two because yeah. of that fight. Yep. So, yeah, beautiful temperature-wise. Oh my God, This it's is so amazing. Nice I'm loving it. All in all, great slow, day. Though. I mean, a lot of rain, but it's okay. Hoping for some nice weather tomorrow. We're gonna wake up very early. I'm gonna do the beach first. And uh, oh, it's so nice out. Take advantage of the Look nice this. weather while we have it. Now let's turn it around and uh, show the restaurant. I gotta find out what the name of this restaurant is because I haven't seen it before. And is it's it a really, restaurant or a lounge? I don't know. It's like so quiet and dead. I don't remember these like lights. I don't remember this either. It must yeah. be either really expensive or like Real not new. open yet. Yeah, or like not too many. Because I don't know why people wouldn't go there. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, uh, our room is up here on the 18th floor. I didn't even so. look and see how many floors were there. 20, 25. Oh, was it more than? No, I thought it was 20. Let's check in the elevator now. All right, 22 floors. We're on floor 18. There's 22. Ashley said 25. Right. I said eight. I said 20. Said 20. So I think I'm closer. Closer without going over. Yeah. All right, guys, that is going to do it uh, for today's vlog. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. 
and don't forget to hit the like button it definitely helps us uh, create more videos like this uh, we got a ton of crazy family adventures this uh, year in 2023 yeah so, we have some good ones coming up so hopefully you guys can follow along and uh, maybe get learn some a thing idea. Too. or get some ideas for your own adventures yeah absolutely so i'm heading to the casino i'm gonna tuck ashley in and we will see you tomorrow thanks for watching and safe travels